Welcome to Books on Point. The Nielsen Book Scan South Africa bestseller list tracks actual sales across the country in all bookshops. The Book Scan service has been operating in the country since 2009 and provides a continuous market measurement of South African retail book sales sourced from electronic point of sales data. To discuss what's on the bestseller list for July, we're joined by Sean Zaval, who's the newly appointed arts editor at News24. Sean, thank you so much for your time. I mean, I went oh. through this uh, list and I found it quite surprising that the top four fiction titles are Afrikaans books. I mean, what did you think of that? <laughs> well, I'm not hell of a surprise because basically the Afrikaans book market is very strong. <clears throat> um, it's, it's uh, you know, percentage-wise, uh, in terms of population, people who will... Uh, who speak and who will read Afrikaans are relatively small. But within the book market, there is a very big demand for Afrikaans books. It's, it's, it's a substantial proportion of the market. And, I mean, for various sociological reasons we could discuss. It may be, you know, it's to do with education, it's to do with, uh, you know, an investment in the language and in the written word. Um, and that kind of thing, and I think that that helps to push uh, Afrikaans books up the up the bestseller mark, up the bestseller lists. So, from your experience and some of the conversations you're having out there, um, what's your mm. assessment of the appetite and demand for fiction titles? Because most of the books we feature on our show are non-fiction, so it'd be interesting to know what's your take on the fiction market. Well, I think there, you know, you would have to look at the absolute numbers because a, a bestseller list is basically a comparative measure. So, you know, one book at the top of the or high up on the nonfiction list might be selling a, large, a very large amount of books. On the fiction list, it maybe selling fewer than that, but it's still high up on the list because it's being compared to other fiction titles. But having said that, yes, the market for nonfiction books in South Africa is is very big and it's growing. Titles that uh, deal with current affairs, that deal with politics, that deal with the the reality we're living now in South Africa, as well as elements of the past, um, are very strong sellers. People are very very interested in politics and in you know what's going on in society and people's life stories and that kind of thing. So I think that pushes nonfiction up quite high. But at the same time, the non the, the fiction market is not flat. Um, and I think that over the last year and a bit that we've had lockdowns and that we've had people staying at home and resorting to more entertainment at home we've actually seen some improvements in fiction titles. There are some, some writers who are writers of fiction who are always going to sell well, and they just will sell well. Um, Wilbur Smith comes to mind. I don't know whether he's going down a bit now, but, I mean, for many, many, many years, he's been selling very large quantities of, of, of his novels. Um, and you've got to remember as well that the book clubs um, are very strong. More and more people are investing in book clubs, getting together to buy books, to share them, to discuss them. And those are largely fiction titles. Those are largely novels, um, sometimes short stories, but largely novels. And that provides a very big uh, push to, to the, the market for fiction. The one thing that uh, did blow me away on the non-fiction list was that uh, coming in at number one was the K-53 Learners and Drivers Manual. I mean, I suppose <laughs> that it does have some importance uh, in the country. <laughs> Look, it absolutely does. I mean, it's a little bit odd in a way to have that kind of book, um, you know, sitting on the bestseller list because we don't think of it as, you know, a bestseller. It's not a bestseller like I mean, I, you know, I don't know, Long Walk to Freedom or something. But the fact is that South Africans do need those kind of books that are going to teach them, uh, in this case, how to get your driver's license. or going to help you get your driver's license. You'll see that there are, in fact, two books on the bestseller list, fairly high up, that deal with, uh, you know, assisting you to get your driver's license. So it's obviously something that, that a lot of South Africans really need. Um, it's something that uh, is very much part of the currency of what's being sold. 
And as I said in the piece I wrote for Arts24, you know, for many, many, many years before GPS, uh, the Johannesburg map book, the guide to how to get around Johannesburg, was the number one bestseller every every month and every year for decades. Um, there was a time at which the bestseller lists used to simply ignore that uh, title because basically it was always number one for so long. Uh, now, of course, we have GPS and, and, and maps are not, not in such demand. But it's clear that at the moment, um, something like the, the, the guides to, to helping people learn to drive and to get their driver's license uh, are, are, are very much in demand. I mean, obviously, more and more people are trying to learn to drive and yeah. to get their driver's license all the time. Uh, you've just been appointed as the new arts editor. What will be some of your objectives going forward uh, in that space? Well, I think that for Arts24, uh, which is part of News24, and um, it's uh, very much um, a question of, of pushing subscribers into um, Arts24, um, I think the desire is to create a, a rich package for for subscribers to the site, um, to people who are going to be wanting to get, um, you know, a bunch of news every day, as well as uh, things that are not necessarily related to directly to the top news stories, but things that are part of our cultural currency, um, stuff that people are talking about. Um, and so I think books are very important in that equation because, as we see from the bestseller list, people are still buying books. People are very interested. People are very interested in the debates about um, our society and where South Africa is headed right now. And I think that's very much part of the, the sort of package uh, that News24 is providing. Arts24 uh, is part of the overall bouquet that's being offered by News24. And it's being seen as part of a, a lifestyle component yeah. that uh, people would want to get from a, from a rich package of, of, of pieces and information that right. they get from on Art News 24 and Arts 24. All right, Sean, thank you so much for your time. That is Sean Duval, who is the new Arts 24 editor. And we do have uh, some of the books that we have featured on the show on that bestseller list. And coming in at number five is... The Stellenbosch Mafia by Peter Dutoy. Well, uh, very interesting, some of these books, and we will try to get the authors on the show.